it is, you know what it is. All right, you guys, be game. All right, man. I had to respond to a video that uh, Blue Blood put up like a few hours ago in regards to Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, speaking on Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, a rematch that I think for the most part, nobody but Manny Pacquiao fans and white supremacists want to see again because they want Floyd to lose so bad, you know, to they just can taste it. At the end of the day, Manny Pacquiao fans are not making any kind of sense. It either do the white supremacist that's asking for this fight. You know, um, they the only ones that's saying this should be a rematch. They the only ones that's clamoring for this fight, but yet Manny Pacquiao is still ducking Errol Spence. And he ducked Terrence Crawford. Okay, so just stop it. You know, um, you know, it's amazing that as far as the brothers go, we can't stick together to save our lives. We are never on cold, no matter what. And like I said before, a lot of people accuse me and all that type of shit. And, and they say I don't like any fighter that's not black and all that type of shit, which is a, a motherfucking lie. I mean, I've said on several occasions, once again, that out of all the fighters that I've interviewed, Mexicans always grant me interviews. And I've said this on several occasions that I respect Mexicans for the most part, they stay on cold. They cannot, st look, every Mexican don't like each other, but they understand it's not good for the culture for them to put on the show always ripping into each other you know what i'm saying so i back them for that i got a lot of respect for mexicans the same way i have issues with mexicans i have a lot of respect for them and the same thing with you know the people that support manny pacquiao i respect the fact that they take up for their boy they ride or die for their boy no matter what and i don't have no problem either in them neither because they easy work because most of them don't know shit about boxing anyway. They just fans of Manny Pacquiao and not even fans of boxing. So it's fun to like, you know, eat them damn and put them in a place where they belong. They crack me up when they be trying to like internet flex on YouTube. Like I really could go really, <laughs> I could really go in on them, but I'm I, I, I'm gonna be cool. Cause I don't want to put my, my channel in jeopardy. I don't want, you know, so I'm going to be cool. But at the end of the day, getting back to the brothers, like I said, we always got to put on a menstrual show. We always got to got to show out to humiliate each other to impress other groups of people. And that's shameful. And Sugar Ray Leonard is at it again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> it just amazes me that these OG boxers, how... I'm just going to say it, how jealous they are of the, of the younger generation. And a lot of them are jealous of Floyd Mayweather because Floyd Mayweather made more money in his last six fights than some boxers made in their entire boxing career. You know what I'm saying? And post-boxing career. And a lot of them don't like it. A lot of it is just pure jealousy and hatred, and that's unfortunate. And it got to be said. But as far as Sugar Ray Leonard goes, Sugar Ray Leonard is a flat-out hypocrite. He's a flat-out hypocrite for his comments saying, oh, well, uh, Floyd and Manny Pacquiao need to do it again and all this stuff because he came out of retirement and fought into his 40s and all that kind of shit. And I think he was saying that he kind of owe it to the fans to give them a re no he don't Floyd don't owe the fans shit okay been there done that once again Floyd don't have nothing to prove the only like I said the only people that's calling for this rematch is the is the, the, the white supremacist and the butthurt Filipino fans of Manny Pacquiao who just cannot accept the fact that Floyd beat Manny Pacquiao they just can't live with it you know so let me get back to Sugar Ray Leonard. 
Sugar Ray Leonard ain't in no position to talk about nobody. Sugar Ray Leonard was a compulsive ducker. Okay? Compulsive ducker. You know, and a, and a snake. You know, people love to say, man, what, you you know what I'm saying? Were you always uh, saving Floyd? Well, it ain't about saving Floyd. It's about, like, just calling it how I see it. I just said on several occasions, I don't like how. And that's real talk. But one thing I can say about me, I ain't gonna never have no white dude sitting up here talking about another black dude on my channel. I, 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 I can guarantee you that ain't gonna ever happen. That ain't, that ain't ever gonna happen. So, you know, the fun, the thing is, Mayweather is a coon. Well, Kenny Porter is a coon. Kenny Porter is a big time coon. This is the same Kenny Porter that accused Floyd of not fighting black people, but when he had a chance to fight a black fighter, he went another direction. And then, you know, when you ask him to talk about, you know, issues surrounding the black community, he shies away from it. But then he wanted to accuse Floyd of not fighting uh, black fighters. I mean, it is what it is, man. But then you got people trying to cake for him. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. Fine. But let me get let me get the mop out, man. Let me get, you know, let me get the mop out because I'm like blue face. I'm finna catch Sugar Ray Leonard slipping because this is easy work. Now, keep in mind, like I said, Sugar Ray Leonard is a hypocrite and he was a snake. I always tried to cir circumvent dancing around certain fights. Let's talk about how Sugar Ray Leonard was in and out of retirement. Oh, the eye was fine. Didn't look that good in certain fights. Then he'd retire and come back. Okay? Real talk. You say Floyd should give Manny Pacquiao a rematch, right? How about how you didn't give Marvin Hagner a rematch in a fight that a lot of people thought Marvin Hagner won? Let's talk about how you didn't give Thomas Hearns a third fight when a lot of people thought that Thomas Hearns won that second fight. And to be honest with you, Thomas Hearns was whooping your ass in the first fight, but he gassed out, you caught him, you got him up out of here. Okay, you won. How you fought a meaningless third fight with Roberto Duran. Let's talk about how you fought a mediocre Donnie Lon at a catch weight, okay? Let's talk about how you ducked my, let's talk about how you ducked Aaron Pryor, how you tried to lowball Aaron Pryor. Talk about how you ducked Julian Jackson. Let's talk about how you ducked Michael Nunn, Simon Brown. I mean, a few, a few other people. Like I said, you can even throw James Tony in the mix if you want to. Real talk. Let's talk about how you were the one that avoided the Marvin Hagner fight for years, and you waited till you thought Marvin Hagner lost the step let's talk about how basically in negotiations you asked for a gigantic ass heavyweight style ring okay Marvin Hagner got most of the money but you won on pretty much anything else let's talk about that for real you you keep forgetting you keep forgetting about that I just named several fighters that you refused, refused to fight. Okay? That you could have fought. But you didn't. You were always circumventing around the system. Let's talk about how basically you snaked Donald Curry out of the Marvin Hagner fight. How basically Donald Curry was supposed to fight Marvin Hagner. But you talked to him out of it, and then you went and took the fight. And Donald Curry sued your ass. Okay? Let's let's talk about that since you sitting up here trying to match make for people. Let, let, let's, let's talk about that, how you did that. And Donald Curry was supposed to be your friend. 
and he took your ass to court. Let's talk about how you humiliated Marvin Hagner on several occasions. Let's talk about how you had that conference where you wore a tuxedo, you had Marvin Hagner up, thinking that you was about to announce that you was gonna fight him. But you turned around and said, oh, the fight is not gonna happen, and you walked away. That was the biggest whole move I had ever saw in boxing. And people respect you for that? I'm trying to think, when did Floyd ever do that to somebody? But you sitting up here trying to match make for somebody? And then, like I said before, you would have got the fight with Oscar De La Hoya if you would have got past Hector Camacho. You know, Hector Camacho, you know, I ain't going to say rest in peace because I wasn't a Camacho fan. You know, I'll fight all that. And don't give me that shit about, oh, well, he Puerto Rican and Hector Camacho ain't black. So stop it. I don't want to hear that shit no more. Like, like I said before, it's amazing how people seem to forget that with Sugar Ray Leonard, what type of cat that he was. Keep in mind, this is the same Sugar Ray Leonard that picked against Errol Spence. Just because anybody with common sense knew that Mikey Garcia didn't have a chance in that fight. Anybody. That was an ass kicking waiting to happen. Errol Spence like demolished Mikey Garcia in that landed damn near 400 points. Hit Mikey Garcia at will in that fight. Couldn't He didn't stop him, but he beat, he beat the hell out of him. Okay? Because for y'all youngsters, y'all need to hear this about Sugar Ray Leonard. This is what I'm talking about. People want to try to pretend that certain fighters was, certain, was, was great guys. Sugar Ray Leonard was not a good dude. He was not a good person. He was not a good person. You know, he ain't no better than the dude he's sitting up there trying to match make for. At the end of the day, Sugar Ray Leonard is just banking and hoping that Floyd Mayweather lose. Like I said, I don't want to see no rematch with Manny Pacquiao because like I said, Floyd don't owe Manny Pacquiao shit. Because like I said, Manny Pacquiao is a straight up coward. He is straight up coward. He he should have just took his loss like a man and he would have got the rematch. I I think Floyd is not gonna ever fight Manny Pacquiao again because I think he don't wanna I really think Floyd don't want to put no money in Manny Pacquiao's pocket. I think that was the whole plan for Floyd to beat Manny Pacquiao and then do an immediate rematch. But then Manny Pacquiao was such a hoe about how he lost the fight. Because like I said, you wouldn't have heard nothing about no shoulder had Manny Pacquiao won the fight. Freddie Rhodes told Dante from Dante's Boxing Nation, the dude that I work with, that I cover fights for. Look it up. Dante asked him straight up. He said, will it be any excuses if any Body wins this fight. Freddie Rhodes flat out say they shouldn't be no excuses. They will be no excuses. But then as soon as the, the you know what I'm saying, but soon as the wrong guy in the eyes of the white supremacist eyes won, I mean lost, then all of a sudden it was a problem. It was excuses. And like I said, I don't care about you Manny Pacquiao fans being mad at me. Nobody cares about y'all. Nobody cares what you think live with it like I said you can't make me change my mind it ain't nothing you can do no like I said nobody cares what you think you, you like I said if I changed my mind have I retracted anything that I said I don't give a fuck about y'all making videos or running back to other pro Pacquiao channels telling people what I said because like I said at the end of the day they ain't gonna do shit they ain't gonna do shit so that's that but as far as Sugar Ray Leonard go, man, dude, sit your ass down. Go pour you a glass of shut the fuck up. Hypocrite. In the words of Black Fight Band, ho, I'm out.